Botash. Um, <clears throat> I'm very happy to be here, um, and uh, it's not my first trip to Brazil by any means. I was here in 1992 for the Earth Summit, and as secretary and as a senator, so I've been here a number of times. But I was also privileged to meet with then President elect Lula in uh, Sharm el Sheikh and subsequently to meet with Minister Silva uh, in Davos and now again here. So we've had a number of conversations leading up to this meeting today. And I want to express my gratitude and my respect for Marina Silva, who is one of the leaders for a long period of time on these issues, who is respected worldwide in the environmental community and whose leadership is going to be essential as we try to uh, do a number of things that are critical to the agenda of Brazil, but also that matter to the rest of the world. The Amazon forest is legendary, and everyone in the world knows about the Amazon. But the truth is that unless the Amazon is protected from those who would deforest it and who abuse it, we cannot keep the Earth's temperature to 1.5 degrees without the Amazon being protected, being nurtured and respected. And it is clear that President Lula and his administration uh, want to meet the needs of the people of Brazil that they understand better than anybody the challenges of indigenous peoples, uh, the challenges of protection against illegal criminal activity, and they are committed to be the critical uh, nurturers, uh, if you will, of this forest at this critical moment in the planet's history. Uh, there are stakes in what is at risk with the Amazon that is hard for some people to grab onto. But the reality is that uh, this forest is critical to the ability of the world to meet the targets we have set in international meetings over many years now. And so uh, President Biden is deeply seized by this issue. He believes in it. He's committed to it. He asked me to come here in order to further fill out the details of what President Lula and President Biden agreed to a few weeks ago when the President and President Vida, when they visited uh, together in Washington. Uh, I think it's fair to say they had a very uh, uh, strong meeting of the minds, uh, a long personal conversation, and an agreement among all the participants that we are going to work together, not on a bilateral basis only, but globally, to bring people to the table to try to achieve what people have worked for for years, but which remains complicated and difficult. Uh, we are committed to working with the Amazon Fund. We're committed to working with other entities. We're committed to uh, working bilaterally on different things, science, development, research, uh, new products, new possibilities. And um, I think we've given the working group that our two presidents announced, we've given it life. We've filled out those areas that it will focus on and how we will begin to work. And uh, I'm particularly excited about the prospect uh, that uh, Marina Silva suggested to me. Uh, I have wanted to come back. We wanted to visit the forest during this visit, but we thought it better to work through things we needed to agree on and to set up a structure. But I do look forward to returning in the next months uh, to a visit to the Amazon, which Marina has said she's going to go with me, and we're going to be together. So I look forward to that. Um, so final comment, uh, folks, and I apologize for our being rushed. Um, there are lots of countries that have been committed to this effort, and we are particularly respectful of our friends and our partners in these endeavors, the Germans, uh, 
the Norwegians particularly and what they've done, uh, French and British and others. And no one country is going to make this difference. It's going to be all of us working together. It's going to be everybody cooperating and trying to find the common uh, thread that links all of us, which is the importance of the Amazon itself, but also the importance of indigenous peoples being respected, the importance of having a just transition as we work through these next years. Uh, and I'm confident that uh, Brazil is going to be at the forefront of defining that kind of journey. Uh, I think that uh, uh, the uh, uh, reality is that uh, the Amazon uh, is the test of all of our humanity in many ways. And with biodiversity now also being better understood, the linkages of the biome that exists here are really critical to our long-term future. So I'm grateful. Thank you, Marina. Thank you, President Lula. Thank you to everybody. We had very constructive, serious meetings, productive, and I think you're going to see uh, a new level of activity uh, and a new, a, a renewal, if you will, of the commitment to this extraordinary treasure that uh, belongs to everybody in some ways. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much.